this is God I've related God to a six dimensional object which is level seven of this model an infinite number of multiverses in each multiverse which is an infinite number of universes the physical properties in the matter will vary depending in which multiverse you're in this is an object which say at one end of it is the big bang and at the other end of it is the big crunch the other side of the universe the, the, the end of it in time and there are an infinite number of variations an infinite number of universes an infinite number of types of matter making up the universe this is the top level I can't imagine one higher than that call me limited call me blinkered but there you go coming down a level this is one multiverse a five dimensional surface this is the theory of parallel worlds. I think this correlates to an angelic form of consciousness, one which is not bound by time. Einstein suggested that if he was riding on a beam of light, all distance would become immaterial, time would stop. Very interesting when it comes to this model of time and how it can be perceived differently depending on where you are in the universe multiverse sort of setup uh, coming down a level to man this is how we perceive time uh, an infinite number of three-dimensional objects popping in and disappearing uh, which we call time uh, bars this chap called bars recently only last week I read his paper where he, well, I didn't understand most of it uh, where he said that maybe there are two dimensions in time and four in space uh, and he might be able to actually prove this with experimental data done next year we'll look out for that so time isn't on a line like we think or most people think where there's a past present future he's saying that there, is, there are two dimensions in time which means to me parallel worlds or multiverse theory yeah? uh, for animals they're, they're a dimension lower than our consciousness they're aware of their surroundings uh, but they've got no idea about time they're pretty well stuck in the present moment that, just like the snapshot this is a three dimensional object it's a snapshot in time uh, it's got no connection with the past or the future it just is it can't project it's got no projection like we have uh, so that's one vital aspect I want to point out even animals vision has been challenged recently with evidence coming from cataract operation patients after coming around from a cataract operation a lot of people or it sounds like everybody sees the world flatly literally they can't distinguish where one object starts and another one finishes and it takes them months to re-educate to even see a face in three dimensions or in stereoscopic this to me is massive evidence suggesting that animals see a complete flat uh, world around them even if they have uh, eyeballs close together the eyes do not see reality it's the brain that sees reality or the brain constructs reality and seeing has got nothing to do with understanding a dimension lower than that is, is plants because plants don't even have vision they blindly feel the world around them with uh, tropisms, you know, light sensitive and roots that can find uh, gravity. They have perceptions but no awareness. Uh, I might be sticking my neck out here. And the plant, it's, again, it's dimensionally lower than the animal's perception onto the mineral world. Minerals, it's just the first level of perception, nothing. I think they just physically exist, they have no perceptions at all and the raw materials that everything else comes from 
and going right down to the bottom, zero dimensions, uh, space, empty space, even though it's curved. I've got that piece of foam to curve there. <laughs> uh, there you go. From zero, go up my ladder, right up to a mathematical definition of God. God would be, uh, as I say, a six-dimensional object whereby each event, right from the very beginning of the Big Bang, is like an angle of an object. But there isn't just one, there are an infinite number of these. Again, different angles of the same uh, consciousness I can't say it's, a, it's an object, but it must have consciousness much more than we have. Uh, which, for me, it's only recently that I've actually come to understand the whole universe or multiverse or whatever as some sort of miracle, which is a miracle in itself.